and read as a fruit to back from how to play. Today we're looking at how to play this game, Ecologies, where it is all about, you know, collecting cards and creating biomes. And uh, it is by, it's actually by a biology teacher, Matthew Montrose, and I guess his company, Montrose Biology, which is pretty cool. It plays one to six players, as you can see. It can take an hour or more. Ages 12 and up, there's a simplified version for ages 8 and up. And, um, 108 cards where you're building food webs. There's 77 seven unique organisms and 7 biomes. And it's got this nice, beautiful Victoria, Victorian era type art. And you get a bunch of different cards. Uh, including... Biomes, organisms, biotic factors, and abiotic factors. So you have biomes like tundra. And um, actually, I can show you the biomes a little bit easier. We got coniferous forest, tundra, temperate forest, grassland, desert, tropical forest, and maritime. Sorry, marine, not maritime. So, and what you get, yeah, you get stuff like the biomes like this tundra biome, you always have to start with a biome when you're building your food web. Then you have other cards like a C1, is a C2, a C4. The color indicates what the biome it is, so white is tundra, and you know, this one is desert and grassland. Some of them, like this one and this rabbit, can be in different biomes. And you can actually move them around from one biome to another, if need be. So again, you got the different levels. As I say, I had this coniferous forest here. The next thing you need to have is a producer. A producer eats sunlight. It tells you what they eat and what they're eaten by. Eats sunlight, and it's eaten by various different animals and insects. And you play that here. And then eventually you can add other cards like this C1. And I believe you can have more than one C1 if you want. And more than one of other ones. And then you have C2s and C3s. It goes anywhere from C1 to C4. And eventually you also will have, if I can find, what are they called? Anyways, I forget what they're called. <laughs> the uh, scavenger decomposer cards, which I can find. Hopefully. <laughs> like, for instance, this black bear is a SD scavenger decomposer. And I have another one here as well. Now, once you have a healthy ecology, you get a bonus. In this case, I'd get four victory points. But different ones have different things like the Tundra one. Uh, I would be able to purchase cards at a cost of two less and, and whatnot. And yes, I'll get the other stuff as well. What is a healthy ecology? And ecology have, or producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and scavengers less decomposers. Uh, healthy ecology. Sorry, I'm flipping through the notes here. <laughs> is if you have a producer, C1, C2, C3, and an SD. So this would be a healthy ecology. And I would get this bonus. But. People can. Your opponents can screw you up. With abiotic and biotic cards. Like this one. Abiotic factor. This one you can add. This factor to one of your ecologies. And this would prevent someone from attacking this ecology. If I played that on that one. This biotic factor. Would give me two victory points. Which I haven't even explained yet. Um, 
all the biotic and abiotic factor cards are in this color, so they're easy to find. This one, I would be able to search a Discord pile for a card. This one, I could destroy any non-producer organism. So I could play this on my opponent and destroy this deer. And that would destroy all of these cards above it as well. If I destroy the producer, goodbye to all of those. And that's what these different cards do. Biotic factors and abiotic factors are basically natural and unnatural things that affect the ecology, the biome. Just like in uh, real life. Like temperature fluctuations and, and whatnot. So those are the cards you get. The biomes, the producers, abiotic and biotic cards. And what you're going to do is you'll shuffle everything up. That's a lot of cards to shuffle. <laughs> um, and you're going to be, whoever gets to 12 points first will win the game. Or whoever has the most points if you get to a point where you've gone through the entire draw pile and reshuffled. And nobody's able to do anything. If you go back and forth one round and nobody's able to play any cards or collect anything, then you just end the game, if that happens. So what you're going to do at the start is deal every player seven cards. And it's got beautiful artwork, of course. And on your turn, you're going to have one of uh, a few actions to do. The first one is the only thing you actually have to do on your turn, which is draw two cards and there's no hand limit so you can just keep drawing as much as you want so i've got some temperate force cards i have papaya <laughs> a guard of snake and some tundra biome cards here some tundra cards so i'm going to draw two cards and if i want i can just end my turn right there or i can do a couple other actions i can Initiate a trade with my opponents, and there's no limit to how many cards you can trade. Maybe I'm looking for, you know, something for my Tundra Biome, or Temperate Forest, or whatever, and I can ask my opponent if he's got anything like that. And he produces, and he does not, so he's going to say no. So, okay, no trade, but you can trade cards back and forth. It adds a little interest to the game. Then you can also play two cards. In this case, I could play this Tundra Biome and this Marine Biome. Actually, I wouldn't play that one. I would play this one since I actually have tempered cards. And then I can end my turn there or I can take one final action, which is I can purchase cards from the deck. In order to do that, I would have to discard four cards to draw one card with an apple tree. Um, I would not do that right now. I would maybe do that later on if I have a bunch of cards and I'm not using them. It's a good way to get rid of cards and maybe get something different. If I had a bunch of cards here in my biome, like there was, say I had this here, And I had some additional cards here. If I wanted to destroy this biome, I could get one card for every three cards. In terms of points, you're looking at them. I don't know if you can see them, but this one is a 0.25. This is one point. It's one point. This is 0.75. They all range from 0.25 to 1.5. <clears throat> You're going to just keep going back and forth, drawing two cards, playing cards, doing trades if you want, purchasing cards if you want, and playing cards, making biomes, playing biotic and abiotic factor cards to help yourself or hurt your opponent. And once somebody, again, gets to that 12 points, the game ends and you win if you get 12 points. <laughs> it's a pretty simple game. It's got a lot of good science in it, and 
I stand by a biology teacher, so I trust it. <laughs> that it's, you know, actually legit. And it's got a beautiful artwork. You can get this on Etsy. There is a couple of other newer versions. There's also a kid-friendly version. The newest one is actually, like, Space Equality, which is probably all created. Maybe some of it's based on real stuff. I'm not sure, but that is the game. I like it. Comment, like, subscribe, and know what you think. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.